my dears, <laughs> it's me back to Niravazi. Simply because I really need a mental break. Oh boy. Well, let's get this open up. So Niravazi is a good story, but it's much more chill than the layers of years. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, that's Clovis. Oh, how was Clovis' voice? God damn it, I forgot. Did you seriously just try to leave me alone in there, Mora? <laughs> you snooze, you lose! <laughs> Sorry, you were asleep. Sorry, Clovis, you were sound asleep, so I didn't want to wake you up. Very funny, Mora. At least I never tried leaving you behind when you overslept. So sorry for trying to be nice. Anyway, it's, it's also a little bit cold, so I became fluffy. <clears throat> anyway, I suppose we should start discussing the next, part, the next part of the plan. Right now, we're near the entrance of the perfection complex itself. We'll head inside, find your team, and make our way out of this damn city. I'll also go ahead and scout the area more. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay, bye Clavis. I also think that this game is very long. I remember looking into um, people's, you know, on Steam, you have like the rev re reviews and stuff, and people usually play for like 16 hours or something. So the game is quite long. Oh yeah, I forgot that I have a lantern in this one. That I don't like to use. It's a terminal of some kind, okay. Tell me your secrets, terminal. We've just received another shipment of metal from Tecmo building. This is getting out of hand. Our business with Tecmo concluded months ago, so why are we still getting shipments from them? It's making things a lot more difficult to manage for my team, and we're already heads down on the ARC initiative. I'll talk to my boss and see what my team and I can do about about this. Last thing we need is another angry mob at our doorstep. Well, that's true. But why did you why did you do that again? Oh, it's a safe. Okay. I thought it was another terminal. Okay, so that was wrong. Ah, synergy. Okay. Oh, that was a long corridor. Okay, I'm outside. I don't want to go there then. Not yet. We need to first explore everything that we can inside. Find all the bodies. <laughs> so many bodies, this book is old. Well, it's official. Project Ark has been terminated. The board of direct directors claim it was due to ethnical complications. But we all know it was Emperor Ishani that gave the order. I can't say I'm too surprised, to be honest. We all knew it was a bad idea and I think Ishani knew it was too. That's likely why he shut it down. Most of the Synergeny team were satisfied with this decision, but some seemed almost a little too happy. If you know what I mean. Like, they were counting on the ARC initiative to fail. Still, at least now we can get back on to doing our jobs in peace. No more having to cater to those pompous loud loudmouths from the city. What was the ARC project again? <laughs> I don't fully remember or what it was okay guys uh, that the only way now is out so we're going out you can turn on you can turn off the light more you don't need it why is it still raining uh. whoa this is big what is that Hey, Clubbis. Oh, good. You may hear without any hustle, Mora. I was worried there for a second. Now, before we get started, I want to come over and see this. I want you to come over and see this. What is this? Yeah, that's the look I made when I first came to the Perfection Complex. It just nails down the fact that we're not lurking in the city streets anymore. We're in Eon's lair now. Meaning, we'll have to treat to tread lightly from now on, Mora. 
I'm going to have a look around the area to see what I can find. Be careful, Clovis. You do that quite a lot. Oh, nice. Look at all these guys outside walking around. Oh, lovely, isn't it? Oh, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. It's like, where can I even begin? Okay, we're beginning here. The last batch of VIPs signed up for the ARC initiative this evening. I guess people are starting to take this war seriously. I'm still a little unclear on what the ARC initiative exactly is, but what I do know is that it's got all the riches eating it up. I just hope it doesn't turn out to be just another marketing stunt that the directors thought of it off on the spot. Mm, you know, the whole problem with that, that you get like all these rich people running away because, you know, the earth is dying and all that. Oh, lovely, a place to hide. Is that they only think like, oh yeah, we're gonna save all the rich and we're going to save like all these people that just don't want to work and they just, uh, just have all this money. And then they're gonna end up in a forest in a different country or different country, no, different land or planet or something. And they're gonna be like, okay, who's gonna do all the job now? Oh, we are. Yeah, you are. I kind of hope for that. Fuck you. Oh, no, 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 don't take me up. Why have I gone inside the elevator and then asked to not be taken up? Jesus! Every single elevator in this place is like that. Can I go back? I wanna go back. I cannot go back. Oh, stop calling Clovis! I need to learn to like stop going inside elevators and stuff because I know that they're just gonna take me upstairs. Hey, Clovis, did you manage to find where my team's holding? Is being held? Well, about that. Is something wrong? Sort of. I managed to find a path that looks promising, but I've run into a problem. All the terminals in the Perfection Complex are directly wired to Eon's network. If we use them for too long, they'll send out a signal that'll alert him to your position. Thankfully, the timing is quite generous, so you still have time to read what they say. From what I saw already, there's a large outdoor area somewhere deep in the facility. I'm not sure what you'll find when you get there, but it'll be a good place to start. Wait, you're not coming with me then? I, I thought you said we were doing this together. Sorry, Mora. I still can run as fast as you can. I'm going to need a me more time. Don't worry, Mora. I'll still be around to talk to the radio on the radio. If you need my help on where to go, just pick up your radio and you'll be good. What a weird way to put the NPC aside and don't let me don't let it come with me. Okay, Salim Zakaria, Synergy CEO to everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that I and the board of directors have made the executive decision to terminate the ARC initiative. I know this will come as a regret, a great disappointment for- That's not a great time, is it? A great disappointment for many of you, considering all of the hard work that many of you had done for it. So as token of appreciation, we have decided to grant everyone at the company a little bonus on top of this month's payment. Now, some of you may be wondering what our plan is going forward at this point. Uh, we're not quite ready to demonstrate what it is uh, some of the boys in the labs have been working on, but I can assure you it will be nothing like anything you've ever seen before. And trust me, I've seen a lot of things in my life. Okay. I hate this. I don't like it. No. I fucking hate when you put timing on reading. I... Not complaining. I'm not complaining. It could be worse. It could be layers of fear. Alright. Let's go. My smarty buttocks actually got some water this time. Hello? 
Aimura! Sounds like you managed to find a way into the production wing. Could hear the elevator going down from here. Now, whatever you do, be sure to keep a close eye on your surroundings more. Eon's bound to be keeping this place well guarded. And if it's alert to your position here, there's a not a lot I can do for you. So just take it nice and slow, Mora. Nice and slow. That's my middle name. I always take things nice and slow. I am getting rich with these things. Oh, here we go. Reading like a maniac again. <sighs> Salim Zankaria, Senior Jenny CEO to Rohan Bauri. It's coming to my attention, Rohan, that you've been causing quite a steer with the factory floor of the building. Many of your employees have come to me in confidence to express their frustration with how you're managing things down there. Now I know you're a busy man, Rohan. I get it. I really do. The cancellation of the ARC initiative was not an easy decision to make but one that was necessary to the survival of this company. The last thing we need is you threatening our employees with termination for speaking their minds. I thought I made it, I thought I made it perfectly clear that all termination related matters are the responsibility of the board of directors alone, nobody else. Perhaps it's about time we start talking about your place in the company, Rohan. It sucks because I'm so eager to read everything so fast that I might lose the point of some stuff. Don't kill me. To everyone, Rohan. This is a message to all Sinogeni employees working with the factory floor. I have been informed by Mr. Zakari that the board of directors that the ARC initiative is officially being shut down. I know this news will come as a big disappointment for many of you working on the project. However, I have been informed. However, I have been informed that the board of directors will be granting all employees working on the initiative a 2% bonus on the next monthly payroll. Additionally, all employees at Synergeny have been receiving a small gift back as thanks for all of your hard work. If you have any concerns or feedback, if you have any concerns or feedback you wish to give in response to this email, feel free to pop down in my office and we can discuss the terms of your resignation. Right. So he was the one that just suddenly offered everyone some bonus, apparently, and the CEO did not get happy about it. That's what I understood by reading like a freaking crazy person. I'm reading like a Marco player. Usually Marco player, player reads like that. So fast. That's not what I wanted, but sure. Oh no, not the talking one. Oh, fuck. Ah. Just got a word back from the directors that they're shutting down the ARC initiative. That means all the work we've done is gone to waste. My team and I put their hearts into this project and all the directors want to put on in all of it. Uh, if the money that comes out of this job wasn't so damn good, I would have been in the ship years ago. Well, at least you do not put a timing in the talking one. Oh, that's not as bad as Slayer of Fear 2. I where I am being terrified. was that thing? Okay, if you went that way, I'm going this way. Oh shit. The only thing here is an artifact. Freaking great. Oh, look at you guys! Ah, oh, so cute! Wow! Why is he building you? I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. Okay, bathrooms. Oh. The bathroom has an exit. D that's new. Oh, it's w another one of these. I don't know. I don't know how to access the secret area. I know there's something to do with brain and something else, but I really don't have anything. I, I have no clue on how to open that. Why are you patrolling the bathroom? You know, I don't want to know. Do you think? Oh, they're down there. They're all down there. Oh, that's 
awful. I don't like this. Clovis? Clovis, is that... Mora, I found them! I found where Eon's been keeping her team. And according to these documents, they're not that far away. Just head out of the production wing. And you should find yourself in a runaway of sorts. I'll meet you there in a bit more. Call me if you need anything. Okay... Huh. Look at you over there. I hate you. Well, it's official. The ARC initiative is all dead. Because Salim and his lackeys want the results now rather than later. Had we been given the time to test the ARC suits properly, this whole mess wouldn't have happened in the first place. Now all my team will be remembered for his create creating the walking death traps that killed those poor people from the inside. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's why it was closed. Because you were trying to go to space and then people died? I guess. Confusing, but I guess that's it. Well, that also happens when you spend like a lot- Like I'm probably playing this game for three months now, if not more. Hey, I got that. And that's not functioning. Oh, the stairs. Okay. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Uh... Oh, I'm outside. Hey, Clovis! Oh, it's just you. I thought you were one of Ian's machines, Clovis. Yeah, sorry about that. This place is a lot harder to navigate than I thought. It is. Look, we don't have a lot of time, Mora. We need to head to the processing wing now. Meet me there when you can. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I just, I just want to check something over there for a second. Because, you know, I basically just ran off. Oh, Christ. Were you always there? Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much over here. But there is something over here that I haven't been yet. I don't know why would I want to touch that, but I want to touch that. Artificial Ecological Overseer Network Log C117 Subject Matter Proxies and Microanalytic Analysis of Nirovasi. Upon further investigation, it has become clear to me that there are still many areas of the city that are not under my supervision. Was this an attempt by the Tecmo Corporation to ensure my compliance or simply an act, an act of gross incompetence? Whatever the case, it's clear that this overs oversight must be reflected. Oh Jesus, so many difficult words! Rectified immediately! That is where my proxy initiative comes into play. A phenomenal solution, really. Following Ethereum's destruction, a significant number of lives were lost. All those innocent lives may be lost to us forever. The organic biomatter they left behind can be put to good use. And, as of this moment, there is certainly no shortage of biomatter that cannot be harvested here. I wonder what this switch is used for. It looks pretty important. Let's go. I shut something down. That was a ghost. I don't know what it did, but I pushed it. And now I am outside. So, okay, I accept that. Huh, it doesn't seem to be working though. Okay. Then maybe I just have to go over here. Clubbies! Oh, a ship! Wait, that's. Hey, did you manage to. 
Whoa, what? Is that ship? I thought Eon smelted all the ones we f he found for parts. I mean, we kind of need the ship to go away, right? Mora, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just... This was the ship my team and I used to get here in the first place. I knew I knew that ship. What? You're sure? Yeah, I recognize the make of the ship. The others I saw in Fileria were better in quality. You must have taken it here after attacking us at the landing site. Wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. Looks like we found our ticket out of this damn city, Mora. Sorry to bust your bubble, Clovis, but the pilot said that the ship's controls were broken. And even if they weren't, I'm not qualified to drive a vehicle, let alone fly a ship. It's dark. Regardless, for now, let's just focus on getting our team out alive more. Have a look around, see if you can find anything in here that can help us out. And he goes out again. Yeah, Mora, go go ahead. Like, you are the main character, technically. So you figure something out while I'll just stand here. Thanks, Glavis. You are as useless as every single NPC I've ever seen. I still like you, though, so don't die. Another day, another boring shift. I swear, at this point, I'd happily take a cut in my pay if it means I get to do something new. Now I have to sit here and wait around for one of the bosses to come if they need a lift somewhere within Netherius. I didn't train to be a pilot for nothing, you know. I'm meant to be up there in the skies, not sitting here on the ground. Oh, that does remind me though. One of those white coats dropped a note on the way to the processing wing of the facility. I tried handling it back to him, but I guess he didn't hear me. There were just some numbers scribbled in, so I don't think it's important. If I remember right, I think the numbers were 4242 two, or something like that. Don't know what they're for, but that's above my pay grade. Probably the things that we need for the outside, uh, you know, code thing. Hmm. I like how when I first started the game and I needed to, to get code to get access to something that was a puzzle. And now when I need a code to something, someone just tells me what the code is. <laughs> Not complaining though, it makes my life much easier, thank you. Right, this place is quite big. It's a pre-recorded message for all Synergeny employees working within the containment sector. Visitors are strictly prohibited from entering this part of the facility. This includes personnel under extreme supervision. All material assets within this sector contain sensitive information that could irreparably damage our company's good name if leaked. As such, please provide proper identification before entering this sector. Failure to comply with this will result in severe consequences. I, I just want to recharge my battery. Okay, thank you. What are you hiding here? A lot of read things that I'll have to get out at least three times. Uh, Parvati Menon. I trust everything is in order in regards to accommodating the prisoners, Parvati. My time working with this... I'm sorry. With the NSP has long to has shown to me that has shown to me that no that one cannot get what they need from prisoners by simply torturing them. It just leads to more death and poorer results. That's why I need you to promise me that no harm shall come to the prisoners and that they're kept in good condition before they're kept in good condition before they're sent to the R and D R and D sector. The board of directors assures me that you have the situation under control. But I need you to tell me that in your own words, your father was a good man. But, but even... Even he had his limits. I can't read when this fucking shit is blinking! Your father was a good man, but even he has his limits. And I, I had to have to find out the hard way that you emulate the same quality about him. I'm serious about this, Parvati. Don't screw this up for me. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, there's two terminals now. One is spoken, the other one is written. Gotcha. We had yet another escape attempt this morning. How many times are they going to learn that, it, that it's never going to work? I've worked too hard to get to where I am. And I'm not about to let some idiotic, selfish prisoners ruin that for me. Oh. They got themselves into this mess, so what makes you think that people are going to side with criminals like this? Perhaps I should find another means of killing their enthusiasm. I seem to recall Salim mentioning some of the methods the NSP used. Hmm. Torture? Why does it look like there's a bone over there? Ah, all right, let's go. Parvati Menon to Salim Zakaria. First of all, you were there at the meeting with the board when he came to hire, hiring me for this position. Unless you've forgotten that already, you had every opportunity to bring up these concerns, these concerns with me before giving me the job. Second of all, I appreciate it if you didn't speak about my father in such a way. The man was an asshole and deserved everything that came to him. But if you really need me to put your mind at ease, so be it. My team and I, I just cannot read when it's blinking and giving me a time thing. Uh, my team and I will be doing the best we can for our prisoners to make sure that they're in peak condition when the clinical trials for Project Wheel and Demon begin. So long as you keep everybody else's noses out of my business and put on a happy face, we'll be right as rain. Alright, we'll be fine. I guess we'll be just fine. Help. <sighs> Found another weird facility of people being tortured. Perfect. Just perfect. And a ghost. That's cool, isn't it? You alright in there? You alive? Oh, wrong button. Okay. Why is there ghosts everywhere? I don't know why Moore is doing that. <laughs> Mora? I think it's just bugged. It's probably just a bug. It's fine. It's just a bug. Just a weird bug. Oh, lovely. Look at you being all destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the, the thing. But you know. I need out. My batteries are going to end. Oh, blood. Always so nice to find blood in places. Uh huh. What's up? Okay, I think Mora is just not feeling well in places like that. <sighs> Parvati Menon Containment Team. Okay, so we're officially in the red here, everyone. It turns out that one of you didn't exactly comply with that little non-disclosure agreement we all signed before coming to this job. And now information regarding what we're doing here has come to light. Salim and the rest of these teams are doing their best to clean up your mess, leaving me to figure out who exactly blabbed. I promise you that if I find the one responsible for this, you'll be you that gets put into the next batch of clinical trials. But if you turn yourself in now, I'll see what I can do about lightening the sentence. If not, I can always just give your families a call and let them all know what horrible little criminals you are here. You all are. This will be my final warning. Don't screw with me. Hmm. Lovely. Why that one did not inform me, Eon, that I'm here? Though. No. I'm curious. Satish's been stalking me for a while now. He keeps pastoring me about going to see what he and his team have been working on. I keep telling him that I'm not interested, but he's just not taking the hint. Remind me to hound his ass before the, the end of the month. Then again, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to know what good, what good's been coming for farming these prisoners day and night. I think he said the password for the lab was 2016. Let me just say that again in case I forget 2016. The password for what? The lab? 
Now I have two passwords, 2016 and 4242. Now, which one is this? Because I have found one password here, but I don't think I can use it on the ship. Feeling any better since the last boat? Yeah, I'm doing okay at the moment, just a little exhausted, but that's easily solved. Hmm. Ah. Okay, let's see how I can open this. Aha! Uh -huh. So maybe in there I'll need the other code? Hello? Hey, Mora! Glad you managed to find a code to that door to the processing wing. It would have been bad if we couldn't find it. Anyway, now that you're in the processor wing, I'll, I should warn you that this place is a lot bigger than it looks. The Synergenic Company tried their best to make this place seem like an, elect, an ethical, ethically acceptable working facility. Ethically. But that's simply a mask to hide all the hideous experiments they were performing on their own people here. Just be careful when venturing to the place more. There's no telling what you find when you get there. Okay. So, will I need the password for the lab in here? Maybe. Oh, this place is big. This place is big. This place is really big. Oh, there's so much. Arjun Kurukal, Head of Research and Development. To Synergeny R&D employees. I know that message Salim and the board of directors sent may be a little on the nose, but know that I'm still incredibly proud uh, I'm still incredibly proud of the work that all of you have done. Projects Clarity, Wheel, and Demon have all gone exceptionally well, save for the few technical hiccups uh, with the latest results with Project Demon. At this rate, we'll be hitting our expected deadlines for this month in all time. It is regret regrettable that the ARC initiative didn't go as planned, but life's all about making mistakes, isn't it? And don't worry, I've seen to it that to the families of those involved with that project have been attended to. Those men and women, those men and women knew what they were signing themselves up for, and I pray that their families will be just what, as understanding as they were with this. Right. Yeah, that happened. I forgot about that. Uh, why are you so unsettling, dude? This guy is so unsettling. The screams downstairs have gotten worse. I don't know what those scientists are doing to these poor souls, but it can be good. Sure, they may be criminals, but no human or Antherian should ever have to go through what they're experiencing right now. But the Synergeny board of directors seem intent on keeping them here, so I doubt they'll be reprimanding for this atrocity. How can those pompous fat cats just sit there and laugh while their fellow brothers and sisters are being tortured to death, or worse? Some people don't care when money is involved, you know? It's a thing, usually. Money is involved, we don't care. Science is the path, and you are the goal. Lovely. I like it. Oh, look at how big you are. The last time that I touched on something like that, the whole Eon crew came after me, so I don't want to touch you. Looks like a computer terminal. Okay. Would you like to use it? Yes. Harjun to Selene. Okay. Mr. Zakaria, I'm happy to announce that the results garnered from Project Wheel have turned out much better than what my team had originally estimated. When exposed for over 48 hours, the, ele the electromagnetic properties of the shard appear to warp and distort the constitution of the blood samples were retrieved from our patients. What's more, the cells within them still appear to show signs of activity, leading, to, leading me to believe that they have a much longer lifespan than regular blood cells. We'll still have to run more tests to confirm this hypothesis, but if it's true, then this could be the start of a series of incredible breakthroughs in regarding to bioscience development. 
Imagine the number of lives we could save with this stuff, Mr. Carter. Just to be sure. This thing looks really uncanny. Was this what some humans wanted to look like? following me and he's gonna murder me I wanna die not like that okay since I don't wanna die I'm gonna leave this here I have no idea how many episodes is left for Nirvaz it's probably going to be like around 30 episodes <laughs> it's going to be long Nirvaz is way long than I ever expected it to be but I still like the game even though the story at this point is a little bit confusing because there's so many characters but it's fine. I'm enjoying it. If you are too, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to play Nervazi until the end. And as usual, I hope you all have a happy ever after. I'll see you on the next tale. Bye-bye.